Now, something I, I want to touch on uh, with you. Uh, last time we caught up, uh, you showed me a tattoo on your arm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this guy here. Give us, give us a, give us a low down of that. Let's, let's get a shot of that. All right. So, this the tattoo I got ages ago, years and years and years ago, and I kind of use it as my mantra before I kind of go on stage. It's my musical kind of reminder to check myself. And it's P equals P minus I, and it stands for performance equals potential minus interference. Sick. Um, Love it. Tell so. Yeah. Go into that. Yeah, so that's wicked. The the concept of that is, is that in order for your potential to be at its maximum kind of level, yep. your performance and your potential need to be on par. So yep. every time you get up on stage, it needs to be at your potential yep. and the you know the best you can give. Yep. And in order to do that, you need to get rid of all your interference, all your distractions. 100%. And the distractions, a lot of the time, and I know. As I'm getting older, yep. I'm finding it easier to kind of get rid of the unnecessary stuff in my head. But when I was yep. younger, and I know a lot of young guys go through this, there's a lot of interference in the way of, man, my favorite drummer's in the crowd watching me tonight, or yep. I've just had a fight with my girlfriend, or... Yep. Um, friends are there, Oh, shit, I there. forgot to pay rent today, or, you know, yep. what, you know whatever, like, friends are there, fam- like, my yeah, dad's yeah. here who hasn't seen me play since I was 10, or so, you yep. know, whatever it is. It's like, there's a lot of mental stuff that can creep into your game, that stops you from having your perf- potential and your performance matched and, and meeting, right? Yeah, that's cool. So this this little thing here, it's not. It's probably the as far as a tattoo goes, it's a it's a little bit cheesy, but like the, the cool. meaning, it's awesome, the meaning yeah. of it is really important because yep. it's there to remind me that the only person that knows how to do my gig as well as I do is yep. me, right? Yep. So so like I'm I'm doing my gig. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yep. And anything else is completely irrelevant. It's not important. Wicked. I need yeah. to focus on that moment of playing. Yeah. And I'm going to have a good time. Yeah. The crowd's going to have a better time. 100%. And I'm going to walk away from that gig going that I know that I put everything into that show. Yeah. And it's it's hard, man, because you know you know what it's like. You know, you and I have both been in many instances where we know that there's a guy in the crowd that we always. admire and respect always. and love yeah. as a player totally you're happened always. to me tons of times yeah. on that last tour yeah. you know like yeah. heaps and, and on that last tour it was the first time I had a mic yep. so I was singing for the first time while playing drums which made me feel like I was starting to play drums all over again I was yeah. like shit I'm I didn't even know how to play thing. anymore you know and it's completely different um, being on the mic to being on the kit it really I've, is I've never been yeah. on the mic I have like a fear. I think if one of the guys came up to me with the mic while I'm on the kit, you just shut down. I mean, I shut down. Yeah. Like I go out there and I've never spoken on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Just get out and play the drums, and that's comfy. Totally. Adding the mic to that, and having to sing it's, or do backup vocals, it makes you feel real vulnerable. And I guess totally. as drummers, we get used to hiding behind a drum kit and being yeah. safe. Well, as soon as exactly. you put a mic in there, it breaks through the von- that, that, that kind of security you, you, blanket um, of the drum kit. You, know? you are interacting with the crowd. Totally. Vocally. Absolutely. Yeah. So. I, there was many moments where I, there was guys um, watching that I love and yep. are good mates. Yep. And that's the great thing about the drumming community is that we're all really good mates. We're all very supportive. Yep. But there's also that really friendly, good competition totally. that, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, us yeah. get better. That actually yep. pushes us to kind of yep. become a little bit better and, and a little and, bit more switched on. And that's what's good about the, the drumming community. Uh, it's very much like that here in Australia. Mm. I think everyone's everyone's very cool. And I can't think supportive. of another. I don't know. Maybe it's the same in other instruments. I don't know. Yeah. But I can't think of another instrument where it's, there's an actual community based around guys going, "Bro, what was that you did? That was yeah. that was red hot."